Truckers XTV on air. We are now live in three, two, one. Welcome back to our exciting episode of Phoenix Riot X Attorney Spirit of Justice. In the previous episode, we completed episode three of the Rights of the Turnabout. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we will begin Turnabout Story Tour. But before just that, ladies and gentlemen, make sure to do me a favor right now and make sure to hit that like button. Your support is greatly appreciated to the channel. So let us begin. And see what happens in this episode. Episode 4 Turnabout Storyteller. <sighs> Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What time is it? It's nine, ten, eleven. Oh, yeah, they got stabbed in the back. Now, now, huh? Um. Oh no! This is more worse than I expected. Shiso's dead. No, do you think he did it? Who's he? Oh no! If he did, then what do we do? Who's he? Hey, hey, put yourself together. Don't worry, I have an idea. What's going on? Yeah, they say it states in freaking America, but everything they show is pure Japanese. Damn, we're going to court already? Are we in trial already? What? Is this investigation or? Yo, I completely forgot was. What the heck? Who brings the defendant to his own trial late? Plus, the request was so last minute, I didn't even have a chance to talk with my client. He's late, he's late for a very important date. Are we sent into trial? My name is Athena Sykes. I'm with an analytic psychology and a full arsenal of legal know-how. I'm a fully competent defender of the right anything and agency. Though I wish my client would show up already, the trial is about to start. Yo, like I said before, this is not proceeding at all. Who are we talking about? I know we're talking, this is Athena Sykes talking, but it appears we just made it in time. Where have you been? Tries about to start, Simon. Simon, Simon, Prosecutor Simon. Blackwell, Blackwell, Simon. Is that a real name? Uh, you need to get so worked up, Athena. His baldness can wait. There's no way he wait for me. And besides, why would I want to start off in a wrong foot with him right out the gate? Dealing with such matters, part of being a lawyer, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, never played. Freaking Phoenix Ride Dual Destinies, if that's number five. Or is it. D I don't care. I don't care. Phoenix Ride Ace Attorney, number five. I have, I do not play the, the game, but this guy was Prosecutor Blackwell. Uh, he's the main rival of the game for prosecuting, so. Yeah. I don't know if that's his real name, so. Dealing with such matters, part of being a lawyer, blah blah. Yeah, well, coming for your lateness is not. Hmm. Still, but a rank amateur, I see. What's going on? This is so sudden. This is Simon Blackwell. Okay, she said it. He might not look it, but he's actually a prosecutor and a psychology specialist. He and I go way back as far as shared specialization in psychology. We're both disciplo, disciplo, duh, Disciples, there you go, of the same person, so to speak, but he's kind of my senior, I guess. But twisted sense of humor, no. I wish he stopped treating me like a child all the time. So, we're all right, Dono, and justice, Dono. Mr. Wright is abroad, and Apollo is helping Trucy with her magic show. Didn't I tell you? Oh, great. They're what? So neither, so neither one of them are here, leaving you to take this on alone? Yep. Ye gods. Call right Dono back. It's not too late. Oh no, not too late at all. He would only need to know how to teleport. Tisk. Very well. Then I will set up for justice to him. Go grab him by the horns and drag him here. Apollo is literally in the middle of a show, Simon. Simon. You may not want to admit it, but I've got what it takes to take on this case. Just leave this to me and go watch from the gallery. As your defense derails in spectacular fashion. 
No, as I win the heck out of this trial. I'll be okay, promise, so wipe that look off your face already, will you? And anyway, oh my bad, I take it the guy behind you is, is... Yes, he's your... Client? Tisk, he's asleep again. Hoi, Bucky, wake up. Yeah! Ow! What'd you do that for, Simmy? Hick. Oh, wrong voice. Aw, oh, he's drunk. Ah, uh, who's this yellow chickadee? She is your lawyer, such as it were. I'd say she's more green than yellow, however. Lawyer? She sure doesn't look it, does she? Is she like your fellow apprentice or something? <laughs> something like that. I've known her longer than I've known you. You could say we're bound to one another. Oh, okay, well then, gosh, I better call Miss Chickadee then. Simon? Simon? I don't care. This guy's not only rude, but he's three sheets to the wind on his own trial. <laughs> I can't make a hiccup noise, so. I know we just met, but I'm about ready to give him a piece of my mind. Do as you will, just save it for after the trial. Miss Chickadee, don't call me that. How do you do? Simmy, here's an old friend of mine. I'm the fourth generation half shed of wet Soba. Soba. Wet noodle number four, Bucky Wet, nice to meet ya. It's nice to meet you too, Mr. Wet. So he can pull himself together when he wants to. Ah! If only the trial wasn't starting in a few minutes. Having been accused of a murder that only occurred yesterday, I'm afraid it's taking a toll of the boy. And you happen to be there at the theater where it all happened too, right? They said they found a Rakugo storyteller murdered in his dressing room. Indeed. What does Rakugo mean? The victim, Master Storyteller, Taifu Tiendo was a longtime patron of Wet Soba. Master Toniendo had been looking after Bucky ever since Wet no Number 3 passed away. I see. So the victim was kind of like a father to the defendant, huh? That stupid old fart! Like a father? No way! He was always dishing my Soba! How dare you speak ill of him! Running your mouth like that is why they suspected you of his murder in the first place. Now pull yourself together, number three must be rolling in his grave. But Simmy! The police! None of them believes me! They won't listen to me! <laughs> it looks like he's still in shock from the whole ordeal. Oh, I forgot to turn on the timer! Great! I don't even know where I'm gonna end off this episode then. Great, I usually have a timer just to know how many minutes we're in, but since I forgot to have it on, great. Just great. I'm going to defend you with everything I've got. You've got, you're in good hands now. You know what I mean? You believe me, ma'am? Of course. No matter what, I'll believe in you to the very end. Jeez whiz, Miss Chickadee. Now come on, I need you to shape up, just like those al dente noodles of yours. Yes, ma'am. My soba is the freshest. Mr. Wet? Ah, <sighs> Bucky, you great big pillock. So, uh, how exactly do you know this guy? I used to freaking Wet Soa, and still do, in fact, so I know him since he was a lad. That's why his father and Master Tiana were always so good to me. I didn't know you liked Soba so much, Simon. I would expect one such as you. Who eats meat slap between slaps of bread. Sandwiches? To understand the delicate taste and the subtle textures, in part by the buckwheat flour. Hey, that's just rude. But But I digress. Hmm. I'm all I'm all about flavor and stuff and stuff too, you know. 
If I let wet soba end like this, I'll never be able to face number three or Master Tiendo in the next life. Ah, I see. And that's why you came to me. You wanted someone you could trust. It was never my intention to ask you. Arrgh. I'll show him. I'll show him I can handle it just fine. Well, I believe it's just about time. What? But we haven't even probably discussed the case yet. What's the matter? You look nervous, Athena. Don't tell me you're a chickadee out. I'm just trembling with the excitement of battle, that's all. Off gets! I believe it's German! Let's do this! Come on, Mr. Wet! Get off the floor! We've got a case to win! Yes, Miss Chickadee, I'm gonna do my best! Wet soba! Wet soba! Wet soba! Wet soba. Is Wet ringtone? Wet soba! Hello, two bowls of noodles. Sorry, sir, no can do. Kind of busy at the courthouse. Huh? They they hung up. Yo, know, we're going in blind with, without anything to decide. Okay, let's do this. Hiccup. He's not going to do himself or his case any favors like this, Simon. Maybe we should let him go get some rest somewhere. Let me rest? Ha! Maybe if I were a lump of old regular flour dough for udon noodles. But I'm fresh like my soba. No, you don't. Let soba dough rest. Saul's about the three fresh. I can't understand what he's saying anymore. Grind on the buckwheat seeds fresh. Shut the dough fresh. And boil the what? He's passed out. He's passed out, huh? He's black. Oh, he's blacked out. Oh boy, I just knew something like this would happen. Simon, what are these three freshes of soba he was talking about? First, buckwheat seeds, or groats, are ground to make buckwheat flour. Then, though made with this flour is cut with a large rectangular knife into noodles. And finally, the buckwheat noodles are boiled. Each step is done in million, one after another, so the other soba is fresh when eaten. Oh, so that's what he meant. I wouldn't want him to make me any soba right now, though, that's for sure. Athena, this is no time for idle chat. You need to get into the courtroom now. Just remember, as a prosecutor, I will be unable to lend you a hand. So we're up against him then. So don't expect any help from my quarter. There you go, treating me like an incompetent again. For your information, I wasn't planning on asking you for help anyway. <clears throat> Just you wait, Simon, I'll show you. So we're facing him in court then. Okay. The right and Paula may not be here, but that's all right. I can do this on my own. Yeah, we'll see how far we can go blindly in this freaking trial. All right, May thirteenth, nine fifty a.m. District Courthouse number lobby, whatever courtroom number four. I thought we were going to investigation, but no, we're going to court already. Not expect that. Court is now in session for the trial of Bucky Wet. Defense is ready, Your Honor. Ah! He's back again? What is he doing over here? Great. Wait, what day is this? May something? I don't know. Great, he's back. The prosecution is fully prepared, Your Honor. What's this? No prayer this time, Prosecutor Sarmadi? That is correct, Your Honor. To expedite these proceedings, I completed them beforehand in the lobby. Well, he is the main rival of this freaking Prosecutor game, so... How very thoughtful of you. By the way, what brings you back to this country? Chief Prosecutor Edgeworth himself conned on me to handle this case. Besides, I have a debt to repay, and that my opponent is yet a callow thing. I have no qualms with sending her down to hell. Objection! If you have a score to settle, it's with Apollo, not me. But more importantly, I am not a callow thing. I'm a qualified and capable attorney. Then what is that yellow attire, if not proof of your immaturity, you small spring chick? Now, cease your shrill chippering. Now, now, Prosecutor Sanmari, 
She is still only a teenager. Please go easy on her. Great. Now even the judge is giving the kid treatment. Very well. Shall we begin, your honor? Uh, yes, I suppose we should. Now that Prosecutor Samani, please give your opening statement. I'll show them what I can do. They'll be sorry they underestimated me. Certainly. Let the last rites of the victim commence. I mean, we play as Phoenix Ride, Apollo Justice, and Athena Sykes. And the only prosecutors that we faced were Mr. Payne and Sanmati. No one else? Great. The incident is believed to have occurred at around 4 p.m. yesterday, May 12th, at a storyteller's theater called Kudu Kudu Te. The victim was a great master of the Tuniendo school of Rakugo or comedic storytelling. Oh, damn it. So that's what it, so that's what it means. His name was Taifu Tuniendo. Tuniendo. The scene of the murder was the theater's dressing room. It is accessible via the self entrance hallway and has an inner and outer sliding door. Backstage diagram added to the court record. The estimated time of death is between 2 p.m. and 5 p.m. The cause of death is suffocation, though how the victim suffocated is yet to be determined. The autopsy found nothing unusual in his lungs or stomach, and there is no murder weapon. I will now submit the incident report to the court record. Yeah, we're going in blind at this. Let's go! Thai Foods autopsy report added to the court record. Prosecutor Sanmati, how can you name Mr. Wheat as the culprit when you don't know how the victim was killed or even with what? While it is true that the weapon and precise method are as yet unknown, the accused is the only one who had the opportunity to commit the murder. I will explain this assertion in further detail as we continue. Ah, I guess this means he has some kind of evidence to present. Now, would the accused care to plead this case, his case? Mr. Wet? Come to think about it, where is the defendant, Miss Sykes? Sorry, your honor. I'm afraid Mr. Wet isn't feeling well and is resting in the infirmary. Surely, it is the lack of clear conscience that impedes him from facing the court. Great, starting off on the wrong foot already. Mr. Wet is the head chef of Soba Shop, frequent by the victim. On the day of the incident, Mr. Wet went to the theater at the victim's request. Typhoon Tiena was, uh, was a connoisseur of Soba, as you can see in these photographs. He was apparently making soba himself in his dressing room that very day. The soba found at the scene is likely the soba he made himself made there. I don't know what that just said right now. Okay, let's go. Liking soba is one thing, but making in a theater dressing room is a bit much, known. Master Tony under truly had a passion for soba, didn't he? For a man like that to be murdered by a soba chef is simply unthinkable. And yet, the accused had ample motive. For in the victim's safe, we discovered the deed to the accused's shop. Mr. Wet was to inherit Wet Soba when, his loss, when he lost his father recently. However, it's believed the victim stole the shop's deed during the transfer process. The prosecution believes the accused killed the victim in order to get the deed back. That's the motive. Uh, a murder over the deed to a shop. That does like a plausible motive. So that's what this case is about? I wish Simon had filled me in a little better. I could have contributed more than just a thousand buckets of cold sweat if he had. Defense. From your demeanor, I gather you know very little about the details of this case. Well, you see... Great. You are dishonoring the soul of the victim by appearing in this courtroom unprepared. You are an embarrassment to your profession, you putrid egg yolk. Eek! Egg yolk. I'm sorry. I paused a red pepper and now I'm an egg yolk. What was... 
We've only just started and I've already been demoted from spring chick to egg yolk. I'm all ready to call my witness, your honor. Let us listen to the words of one who was present from the crime was discovered. Someone who was there when the victim's body was found? Very well. Witness, please take the stand. Black Quill? Really? Witness, please state your name and occupation. Simon Blackwell, Prosecutor. Prosecutor Blackwell? You didn't tell me you were going to take the stand. There simply wasn't time. What a shame, Prosecutor Blackwell. Had you shared the damning scene you witnessed beforehand with the defense, we could have moved this trial along and saved the victim's soul that much faster. Damn, damn, ugh. damning scene? What in the world did Simmons see? Prosecutor Sadmati, was it? Before I get my testimony, there's something I'd like to confirm. Please tell me you're on my side. By all means. This case involves Rakugo, a very traditional form of Japanese comedic storytelling. Do you have enough knowledge of this art form to handle this case com competently? Are you implying that I am not qualified for this case? Not yet. I'm simply trying to ascertain your familiarity with the topic for now. It is a prosecutor's duty to learn the background of any case he takes on. I did some research on Rakugo last night and have grasped the over idea of it. Like the one time you went to the burger joint? <laughs> How much could you possibly grasp in a single night? Hello? Rakugo is a form of entertaining storytelling that originated in the land of Japan. In it, the storyteller sits alone on the stage with only a fan and- Oh, here we go, story time. And the Rakugo artist tells long, whimsical stories, giving each character a distinct voice, and this traditional art was originally invented by Mox to make sermons more interesting. How long did that took? Are you satisfied? If not, I could explain the 12 types of endings to such stories. Or shall I perform the famous story of Jengamu, Jugamemu, Jugamu instead? Ugh. It appears you have put in a bit of study. Your, your acknowledgement is most welcome, Prosecutor Blackwell. I can see why you are known for being quite thorough in your research, Prosecutor. Now, I would love to see you perform that story you mentioned, if you don't mind. If that is your honor's request. Oh, no. Your honor, can we please get back to the trial? Oh, right, of course. I nearly forgot. Seriously? Of all the things for you to forget. Uh -huh. now then, back to the case. But good Blackwell, please tell this court what you witness. Go. What Simon saw? I went to the theater yesterday and arrived at approximately 4 p.m. I went straight to Master Tiano's dressing room to say hello. Bucky went into the dressing room thereafter, only to come storming out a while later. Master Turiendo's junior disciple, Unendo, apparently then entered the room soon after. That's when Unendo discovered Master Turiendo's body. Guenendo, Toniendo. Now wait just a minute here, Prosecutor Blackwell. With testimony like that, you're practically accusing Mr. White of the crime. All I can do is state what I saw. I can't help how it appears. But a qualified capable attorney such as you should be able to dispatch with it, right? Well, yeah, duh. Alright, I guess I better start by getting all the info out of that I can. So she's hinting that we must press on! Let's go. What Simmons saw? Went to the theater yesterday and arrived at approximately 4 p.m. Prosecutor Blackwell, what did you go to the theater for in the first place? 
I went because I had received an invitation from Master Teniendo. Here, see for yourself. Add to the court record? It was a special show commemorating Junior Disciple Unendo's promotion. It was also an occasion to announce the boy's succession to the stage name of Uniendo 2. Uniendo? Um, so what exactly does it mean to succeed to a stage name? <laughs> you really don't know, do you? In the performing arts, a name succession is when an artist inherits a predecessor's name. I see, so like how the freaking guy got a noodle shop. So there was another Unendo Rakugo artist before and this disciple succeeded him, huh? And what exactly did your invitation say? It contained a simple letter of salutations and an outline of the show's program. Oh, it appears Tai Futiano was going to perform Toki Soba and Time Soba, or Cho Soba, Time Soba. And he's famous for his masterful pa pantomime of eating soba using his fan as a prop. And Uniendo was to perform Soba Se or Soba Gluten as a Soba themed show, I see. It seems you know a thing or two about Rakugo yourself, your baldness. The first to perform was the senior disciple, Gerafu, followed by Uniendo. And lastly, Master Tiniendo. I see, so that's why you happened to be at the Storytellers Theater yesterday. So what happened after you arrived? Back to it again, so press on. Hold it! And how did Master Tiniendo appear when you said hello to him? I went into the attention of greeting him, but ultimately, we didn't actually meet. You didn't see him? Why not? Gyaru escorted me to the dressing room, but we heard the sound of Rakugo being performed from within. Thinking the master was rehearsing, we decided to wait in the hall until he was done. You heard Rakugo being performed in the dressing room? Yes, not just me, but Gyaru as well. In other words, you can confirm that the victim was still alive around 4 p.m. Correct. I couldn't hear him clearly though, the doors. Well, I'm sure it was Master Toniendo. Well, I could tell because it was the time Soba routine being performed in there. So that means the victim was killed sometime after that. Bucky went into the dressing room thereafter only to come storming out a while later. Please tell us in detail how Mr. Wet appeared at that time. Gyaru and I were waiting in the hallway for Master Tiendo to finish practicing. When Bucky appeared and entered the dressing room with his things. What happened after that? We heard what sounded like Bucky shouting inside the room. About 10 minutes later, Bucky came back out of the dressing room looking rather irritated. This is the most likely when the murder was committed. The victim was an elderly man. It would have been entirely possible to kill him with the span of 10 minutes. Ah! I better come up with some kind of counter argument and fast. Take note of that. Master Turiendo's junior disciple, Riendo, apparently then entered the room soon after. Bucky went into the dressing room. Oh, what the heck? I went back. What do you mean by apparently? Didn't you see him go in? No, all I couldn't. I wasn't able to see the dressing room door from where I was standing. So Blackwell and Gator were right there, the dressing room was right there. But Gator was right in front of it, so I'm sure she saw it. It's a girl? I thought it was a guy. I see. And why do you suppose Uniendo went to the dressing room anyway? He had just finished his routine. So he was making a courtesy call. The disciple is to pay their master respect right before and after each performance. And all disciples are expected to do this? Yes, it's common courtesy among Rakugo artists. I see. Could you tell us what happened after Unend? Okay, we already know that. <laughs> it's a solid statement from Blackwell. And how did Uniano act that time? After Uniano had been in the dressing room for two or three minutes, 
We heard a scream from inside the room and Unio came flying out. Did you hear any signs of struggle at that time? No, just when he had a woeful scream. I see. This is no helping at all. <sighs> well done, Prosecutor Blackwell. Your testimony has given us quite a glimpse into the sequence of events. Thank you, Prosecutor Blackwell. And now, please allow me to summarize your testimony. They have a dog? While well, Prosecutor Blackwell and Ger Geriru were in the hallway waiting for Master Toniendo. The accused came along and entered the dressing room with same item, some items in tow. That's when. He was heard shouting for a time inside the dressing room. And about 10 minutes later he came back out of the room seeing rather angry. A short time after the accused had come and gone and Unendo, Toniendo, went into the room. A few minutes later, after having discovered the victim's body, Uniendo gave a scream and came running out into the hallway from within. Prosecutor Blackwell and Gieto then ran into the room and saw the body for themselves. From the circumstances, it is quite clear that the accused murdered the victim. <sighs> this is crucial testimony indeed. Simmons' statement adds to the court record. Defense, an eyewitness has given a conclusive testimony. Why not let it all go now and allow the victim his last rides and let it go and move on, blah blah. Not in your life! If Uriendo went into the dressing room too and was the first to discover the body, then who's to say he didn't commit the crime? Uriendo was in the dressing room for a mere two, perhaps three minutes. He could not have possibly committed murder in that time, nor without making any noise. Oh, Simon, why did you have to give that awful testimony? Prosecutor Blackwell, can't you give me something a little better to work with here? Isn't it up to you to ask the right questions? I am certainly willing to tell you all that I know. So if you truly are capable as you claim, then draw out what you need yourself. This is no time for your twisted games, Prosecutor Blackwell. Just admit, you don't remember at all. Really? Prosecutor Blackwell, watching you con collude with the defense like this, I see you are no prosecutor. Be gone, witness! You shall haunt this sacred hall no more! Urgh. How dare you treat me like some evil spirit to exercise! I'll remember this, you blackguard! Well... What else is there? We got not enough evidence! Don't worry, Prosecutor Blackwell. I got this. Would I have my way, he would not be the only one here to step down. You, half boy of putrid egg yolk. You, I object to the notion that I'm a gooey smelly mess. Prosecutor Blackwell's testimony was like the lowly opening of a Rakugo show. He may hold the title of prosecutor, but this time he stood on the side of the defense. To restore balance to this trial, I would like to present an actual witness for the prosecution. And who is this witness? The person who was with Prosecutor Blackwell when the body was discovered. She is another entertainer of the Toniendo school, Miss Gieru Toniendo. Like, comment, subscribe, share, and see me. I'm signing out.